How are we doing guys? Kylie Hank here and I hope everyone had a wonderful and Merry Christmas and welcome to the almost end of the year as well. And with that being said, we're still going to talk about today. We're going to talk about how I got the last three, oops, last three letters of the Cards Against Humanity saves Cards Against Humanity Saves America campaign. I almost thought it was Cards Against Humanity Saves Humanity, but not quite. So like I said, I got the last three days. So we got day four, day five, and day six. And with that being said, I'm going to open up day four and let's get right into it, shall we? Hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas. And uh, sorry for not making videos, but Christmas got really insane with all the shopping and all the Christmas parties and all the Christmas chaos that comes with it. Um... Been, been pretty crazy. Been pretty crazy. So let's open this up here. Okay. Oh shit. Okay. There's some stuff. Oh, we got the letter. We got some cards. Got some stuff back here. All right. We got the official letter. Let's give it a read, shall we? Dear citizen, mounting sociological evidence. Mounting sociological evidence confirms something we already always suspected. Homework sucks gorilla balls. It alienates students from their families and communities and stifles creativity from a very young age. That's why today, with the help of our favorite nonprofit, DonorsChoose.org, we're asking teachers to join us in destroying homework once and for all. Hmm. We pose the question what are, you, what are ways to help kids learn besides assigning homework? Teachers came up with a ton of ideas, like field trips family game nights, or just letting kids be fucking kids. Imagine that. You can support these projects by donating at www.donorschoose.org backslash C-A-H hyphen homework and we'll match your donation up to $100,000. Why are we doing all this? Because homework blows leathery rhino dong. <laughs> Still not convinced? Please find and close a policy paper written by the Vice President of the Chicago Children's Museum arguing, arguing conclusively that homework gargles will come. I love you, Cards Against Humanity. Alright. Uh, this must be the uh, actual argument right here. You got the actual argument, so that's pretty cool. I'm not going to read that. I'll read that in my spare time, but that's pretty cool that, you know, Oh, what the hell is this? We got some weird packaging of like drawings from kids. Let's uh, give this a little look see here, shall we? Okay. If it wants to open, Jesus Lord. Ugh. You figured out all the wrapping paper and everything, you figured I'd be a freaking pro by unwrapping plastic stuff now. Okay. This one says thank you. Thank you. This one says, Thank you so much for helping and funding this trip for our entire 8th grade. We greatly appreciate it. We wouldn't have done it without you. Hopefully we'll do this again. The, mo the movie was great and the buses were nice. He named me Lula. That's pretty cool. So these guys definitely funded like all the field trips and stuff. We got a... Uh, Dear friend, thank you for the greet for the geo boards. I had fun with the geo board because we make. Oh, that's cool. We were making shapes. Oh well, wow. so that's nice. Yeah, homework does suck. I never was a fan. Uh, let's see, Cards Against Humanity destroys homework. Okay, here we go. We're gonna open these up. I was never a big fan of the homework. I don't think homework really does really like reinforce what you're actually learning, especially when people always do that. We got the shocking stupidity of the American public. <laughs> Slowly shaking my head at a sad statistic. A gay Republican somehow. White people becoming a minority. Okay. The truth. <laughs> And when asked about the biggest threat facing the nation, 60% of Americans said blank. Alright. Very interesting set of uh, stuff there. 
Okay, and I got this new keyboard. I'm so happy with it. Uh, okay, let's just put those up there. Let's get some of the next leather, shall we? Le leather. Leather. Huh? I'll put this all down here. Alright, we got day five. This one's big. This is the biggest one they've like. This is the biggest letter they've had out of all the other ones. So let's uh let's see what we got here. Holy hell! There's some weird stuff going on here. Got lots of stuff in here. I mean, ugh, what the hell? I lose, oh, I didn't open it all the way. There we go. Come on, do that. Whoa! Cards Against Humanity's pulse. Oh no! Shit! We just dropped stuff. Of the nation. Okay. Man, here's the official letter. 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 And it reads, Dear Citizen, would you rather be smart, smart and sad, or dumb and happy? Today we're launching a monthly public opinion poll called Cards Against Humanity's Pulse of the Nation. Each month, we'll ask Americans the most interesting and important questions, analyze their response using, using rigorous methodology. You funded this poll through the end of you funded this poll through the end of 2018, allowing us to continue asking questions like, "Do you support white nationalism?" and "Do you think it's okay to pee in the shower?" I kind of pee in the shower. I mean, man. In close with the most interesting and statistically significant results from our first two months of polling. We'll continue to publish the results every month at the at the pulse of the nation .com. Nate Silver retire, bitch. <laughs> I love you, Cards Against Humanity. P.S. At Cards Against Humanity, we are very smart and very sad. <laughs> and we got this Pulse of the Nation right here. And it literally says it was literally just got like PP. Do you pee? We ask people whether it's okay to pee in the shower, which is not big, blah, 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 and all that. And 57% said it's unacceptable, and 43% said it's acceptable to actually pee in the shower. Not too bad. Um, uh, where'd that card thing go, though? That's not good. There it is. Oh. Here it is. Cards Against Humanity's Pulse of the Nation. Alright, let's open this one up. Oh my god, I can't open the damn thing up. There we go. Got it. Alright, this is taking a minute to really unpack what Shakespeare is getting at in this scene. <laughs> the significance of the significance of eyes in King Lear. Speaking in iambic pentameter. Now is the winter of our discontent made glorious made glorious summer by blank. <laughs> the fault, dear Brutus, is not in our stars, but in blank. <laughs> Cry havoc and let slip blank. Cry havoc and let slip the dogs of war. So that's good. This one I like this one too. Nice cards there. Of the nation. I can't read the read the read the rest of that. That's gonna be funny. Alright. And for the final letter, letter. It's filled with lots of stuff. I can feel like it's just like jam-packed full of stuff. So here we go. Oh my lord. I don't even know what I just took out. <laughs> I'm a little afraid to find out what I just took out. Okay. And day six, the final day, the final letter that I got the other day. Dear citizen, let's face it, baseball is boring. Today we used your money to save America's pastime. While we we're unable to alter the basic mechanics of the game, we we're able to buy the naming rights to a minor league baseball stadium in, jo in Jolette, Illinois. Kindly remove your caps and stand for the Canadian. It's Canadian. Kindly remove your caps and stand for the Cards Against Humanity baseball plays. The new home of the Gillette Slammers. The Slammers are lovable underdogs with a middling record of 42-55. 42 wins and 55 losses. <clears throat> We've adopted the Slammers as our favorite team and can't wait to cheer them on this spring against the Schumburg Boomers. Fuck those guys. <laughs> 
As a patron of the stadium, you get to be part of the most elite fandom in professional sports. Please find and close one ticket to see any Slammers game this spring, a poster of the stadium, and a pack of baseball cards so you can get to know some of our favorite ballers like David Cash Money Gonzalez and Andrew the Milkman Zellner. Learn more at Cards Against Humanity Saves Baseball.com. I love you and God bless America. Cards Against Humanity. Well, that's fucking cool. So we got like a baseball slope. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, look at that. It says Emit One Gillette Slammers versus crappy, some crappy opposing team. Look at that. Nope. Yep, some crappy opposing team. <laughs> Oh wow. Oh wow. Look at it. Was, this must be the poster of the stadium. Holy shit. Well, there it is. There's the whole poster of the stadium right there. So that's pretty nifty. Alright, alright, alright. <laughs> And then we got baseball cards, cards against the series baseball, and day six stuff. So let's open some of the day six stuff. Oh, this is all one big packaging thing here. So let's open this stuff up. Oh, look at it. <laughs> These are actually baseball cards. Brady the Tickler Brzezinski. And it's got like his stuff out in the back. We got Brian the Big Apple McKenna. <laughs> Jeff Isom, who's the manager. Louis L. Animal Diaz. <laughs> Spencer Pumpkin Spice Navin. This guy's name is Pumpkin Spice. <laughs> Andrew the Milkman Zellner. So that's freaking hilarious. And this must be, let's open the other side of it. Oh, that is actually the black, the black, or uh, actual cards against Mandy cards. Here's the rest of them. We got Edwin Gomez, Steven Eggs Polakov. There, there we go. Steven Eggs Polakov. That's a great name. Travis, the first responder, Boylan. Scott one T Hoffman. I don't know what the one T is for, but oh, okay. Oh, because he's got one T in his name. <laughs> Melvin Kind Eyes Rodriguez and Matt Elvis Costello. There, there's a bunch of different names for you right there. Okay, and then Scott, we got for actual cards against humanity cards. We got my drunk father, <laughs> my drunk father screaming from the bleachers. Okay, Randy Marsh. Yelling, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Lou Gehrig's disease. <laughs> oh, no. Teaching my son to love the Red Sox and hate minorities. <laughs> what the fuck? As long as the minorities are the Yankees, I hate the Yankees. And we want, we want a pitcher, not blink. And you see, son, baseball is like blink. Don't overthink it. <laughs> So that's pretty great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We're done as all six letters of the campaign that they promised. So pretty awesome campaign. Again, shout out to my friend Bree for uh, hooking me up with the campaign as my birthday present. As well as, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, and please give me a giant thumbs up right there. Look at the size of this thumb. It's huge. It is huge. Look at that. Give me a giant thumbs up. As well as comment down below what you thought about the whole campaign. There are the other videos. The first video that I have is the actual first two letters, then there's the solo third letter, and then there's this little video with all the final three. What you guys liked about this whole campaign, what you didn't like about the campaign, and what you would like to see Cards Against Humanity do further as well. And as well as make sure you subscribe to this channel, to this beautiful bearded face right here, because... We're going into the 2018 baby with 68 subscribers and we're going hard and we're going in long. 2018 is going to be a really great year. Cannot wait. So with that being said, make sure you subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Hit it, 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 hit it. 
And as well as always make sure that you guys follow my friends at Grown Children and Crimson Studios and Halloween Hunter throughout. They're obviously always going to be around here like they are at the end. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a Flashback Friday. That's right, we're going to do Flashback Friday. It gives me more time to do the videos. Flashback Friday of Retro Gaming. I'll see you guys then. Have a good one. Crowning X out of here. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Peace.